what's up y'all what's up another beautiful day outside as y'all can see i know i got the mask on again right now because uh it's windy like and then got a little chilly out here so I, again i like to wear the mask because it's the so the wind don't be blowing all in my face because i'm walking directly towards the wind right now but anyways t-bar and mace t-bar and mace man oh man oh man finally got a mask on the last wwe raw well damn <laughs> They've been masked up doing this crazy ass goofy gimmick for like months now. And finally, they done broke away from retribution. Finally. And then get unmasked. Like <laughs> by Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre. Oh man. I need to make a Drew McIntyre video. Damn it, I ain't made one on him yet. I need to make one on him. I need to make one talking about Oscar and Charlie. But, all right, let me tell y'all a little something about T-Bar and Mace. So, they from this group called Retribution that was formed with Ali, this other dude named Ali. And there was four of them. Now, I never really liked the group because they were just deep. They all was wearing masks. When they first came in, they was on fuck shit. They weren't even doing matches and shit. They was just there just to test some shit up, honestly. And then Ali became their leader. So, now, then it was five of them. And Ali... And it's crazy because Ali is the shortest one. He's the shortest, less buff guy out of all of them, but was the leader. So that just make it even more weirder. And, and it, it was just so goofy when they was in Retribution. I mean, just think about the, 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 the names. T-Bar and Mace. T-Bar and Mace. I mean, so every time something happened in the ring, oh my God, T-Bar and Mace. Oh my God, T-Bar and Mace just did this. Oh my God. And then they still don't fucking really get booked for shit. It was just, it was a hot mess. Retribution was a hot mess. Cause again, you got all these people in the faction, but none of them really being taken seriously. So after Retribution broke up, cause they fell out and whatnot, Ali snapped on them. They broke up. You already know the her business broke up. So it's just, you know, MVP and Bobby Lashley. So at the end of Raw, not last week, but the week before, T-Bar and Mace come out and attack Drew McIntyre, and they fucked him up. They fucked him up. Even though I'm tired of y'all putting over him, it's like even when he losing, y'all putting him over, which is starting to irritate me. But that's another video. So last week, last Monday, they asked... Uh, Drew McIntyre was out there talking to MVP because he wanted to challenge Bobby Lashley again. And remember, he got effed up by Retribution, who just joined her business. So, in the middle of him talking to MVP, he... I'm like, what the fuck was that? He got out the ring. He started walking towards MVP, talking to him on the mic. Here come t Bar and Mace. One of them jumping off the steps. The other one, the other one coming from behind. And they both hit him at the same time. Now, I ain't gonna lie. That was that shit deserves a replay. If y'all ain't seen that shit, go see how T Bar and Mace fuck Drew McIntyre up like that. <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie, man, that shit definitely is replayable. Okay. So, anyways, fast forward to the end. They uh do a match, handicap match with T Bar and Mace versus Drew McIntyre. Ugh, I'm tired, of, man. The way they book these matches. Anyways, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, so they was fucking Drew McIntyre up again. <laughs> so they was fucking him up again, right? And um, Braun Strowman just comes out of nowhere, which I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, oh, he comes out of nowhere to help Drew McIntyre and help them beat up Retribution. So now you're putting another person who y'all like to get overall easy and have squash matches with over here with Drew McIntyre. Oh, oh y'all love him so much, don't y'all? And then they end up unmasking T-Bar and Mace. <laughs> Unmasked them, man. And I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of shocking to see their faces, though. It was because... I would have never thought they would look like that, you know, because you get so used to them in the mask. It's like you don't know what the fuck they finna look like. So that was kind of shocking. 
<laughs> and pretty funny too, honestly. But um, and then it kind of like uh, ended with that after they went off. So now, huh? So now T Bar and Mace has her mask ripped off. So next Monday, what's probably gonna happen is they're gonna come out with this new gimmick. They're gonna come out as something. They they might not even be T Bar and Mace no more. Honestly, I've been saying that ever since they was in Retribution. I was like, man. They need to change their names. Everything, honestly. <laughs> I mean, they could work in the ring, but y'all got to change y'all names and y'all styles. So just expect that. They might change their names. Even though T-Bar and Mace is just kind of crazy, but I think they can get some better names. They might come out with some new outfits. And they might start actually be taken seriously. Now... What happened to the other two members of Retribution? I don't know. But apparently they gonna roll with T-Bar and Mace. So just expect huge changes from them next next week. Especially knowing they ain't got their masks no more. So <laughs> I, I just had to talk about T-Bar and Mace because I never talked about them. But there's some other stuff I'm gonna wanna talk about too. As well in the WWE. It was some oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, I remember now. Oh, I definitely got to make another Omas video. I got to. Then y'all got the nerve to keep these mugs away for two weeks after I just explained how fucked up that was. And then here they go. Two weeks, you still don't see them. Within two weeks. What type of garbage is that? See, man, that's another video. That's another fucking video. While Kofi and them. See, that got me irritated as hell. Fucking old moms. AJ Styles. Damn. T-Bar and Mace. <laughs> Hopefully they could build something with them. Because they never really were that interesting to me. I'm, I'm sorry. They just... They just seem like some... You know, some out of control mugs. That like jumping on people. Y'all didn't really seem like, you know... Like, you're getting known for just jumping mugs every time. <laughs> That's, yeah. But, all right. Hope y'all enjoyed this little somewhat of a rant talk WWE video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I did. And I'm going to holler at y'all on the later, too. Peace out.